angle is so steep. And so if you move your butt to a place it doesn't normally go, you'll get a perspective that's a little more unique. Hey, welcome back to North Waters. I'm Eric, a program director at Langskib, and today I'm gonna to be sharing some tips to help you take better pictures on trail. Dude, hold on, look at your fancy camera. Of course your pictures are gonna be better. No worries, internal voice of self-doubt and cynicism. Everything I'm teaching today will apply to any camera, including point-and-shoot digital cameras and those awesome waterproof cameras that haven't changed in years. So first, let's talk about one of the most commonly talked about framing tips, the rule of thirds. The idea of the rule of thirds is that if you divide your frame into thirds vertically and horizontally, you'll get a balanced, good-looking picture if you place your subject on one of the lines created by the thirds grid. So for example, this picture of Josh on the right vertical third is a bit better and more balanced than the picture of him just off center. So if my subject isn't framed using the rule of thirds, I just delete my stupid picture. Now just go ahead and keep it, because pictures are about memories and storytelling, and nothing I'm saying is a hard and fast rule or matters at all. In conclusion, pictures taken with the rule of thirds are good, and pictures not taken with the rule of thirds are also good. Another tip I found useful is to fill your frame. This means whatever you're taking a picture of, make it big inside your picture. For example, if I wanted to take a picture of Claire trying to two-factor authenticate her bank account so she could pay her credit card, but she can't do it because we don't have cell service at North Waters, I could zoom in. If your camera doesn't zoom, this brings me to another tip. Zoom with your legs. By moving closer to your subject, it's easier to tell what the picture is of, and the story of your picture will be more clear. So as you can see here, in the picture where I didn't zoom with my legs, it's a little more difficult to tell what's going on. I think the picture where I got closer to Claire is better because it's easier to see what she's feeling. I like to call this tip, move your butt. Our eyes are in our head while we walk around. And so if you move your butt to a place it doesn't normally go, you'll get a perspective that's a little more unique and it can make your pictures more interesting. For example, if you take a picture way down low, or from way up high, you can get pictures from an unfamiliar angle, which can make your subject look more interesting. This picture of Josh taking a nap midday while on the job was taken from a standing position. And in my opinion, it's not that interesting of a picture. I think the other two are more interesting, intriguing, and expressive because they show us perspectives, again, that we don't normally see. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this helps you take better pictures in the future and maybe lets you be a little more creative with your camera. See ya.